So, Megan, let's talk color matching. Right? Yes, I can see that reaction in you already. Let's. So you're a model, you've been on a lot of sets. I know you had a video go really viral, right? Because it was a little issue with some color yeah. matching. Not so much typical now, but yes. something that, you know, women of color are kind of used to having. And yeah, it was a good a good learning experience. Learning experience. I love that you're making lemonade out of lemons. Yeah, always, always. <laughs> That's the way that I am too. But I think it's a really important topic to talk about, right? Understanding the importance of knowing your own skin tone, your own undertones, and how to match the complexion products to you so that they look your best, right? Exactly. Also, shout out to makeup artists because I tried to color match myself. I did a full video and I realized it was off. So it's pretty <laughs> easy to do that unless you know your colors and your tones and your facial yes. balances. So yeah. we're actually going to be using Sephora Collection's Best Skin Ever. Okay. And the reason I'm using this is because it has a huge shade range. And that's really important nowadays. We know that mm -hmm. everyone's shades are different. Everyone's undertones and tones are different. So Sephora Collection's Best Skin Ever has a really large shade range with a great assortment of undertones. Mm -hmm. And you're like a neutral warm. Mm -hmm. So I'm using a warm neutral on you right now. And I'm applying it with a beauty blender. And always start in the middle of the face. Don't match to your hands. That's a different color in your face. That's an old school thing I would mm -hmm. see people do all the time, right? Oh, wow, well, yeah. It's totally <laughs> different. And then you go to put it on, you're like, whoa! Start around here or start on the jawline here because you also want to make sure your neck goes into it. So I always like to start here, see how it's looking on the face. And that'll give you a really good idea of the coloring. Aside from just color matching, most people don't really need a lot of coverage on the outside of the face. Mm -hmm. You really need the most coverage on the inner portion of the face. That's really where we want to perfect it. And this minimizes overuse of product. So if you start here, you can blend it out and you're going to have just enough coverage out here and it's going to blend into your natural skin tone. And it's just going to give you that flawless complexion that you're looking for with that using too much product. We've got a great color match on you, so I think it's time to move on to some concealer. We're gonna be using one of my favorites. This is from Hourglass. See how light that is? That's just mm -hmm. a few shades lighter than your natural tone. And it's so natural, but it's adding a beautiful highlight. Now, of course, you can go a little bit lighter if you wanted to but I wanted to show that you can achieve a highlight with something that's almost identical in tone. So it doesn't have to be out of control, especially like when you're in like areas like the chin. Mm -hmm. I always like to do a little highlight on the chin because it's a little forward. So look how good that looks, mm -hmm. right? It brings life to this side, still nice color. This is starting to look dimensional. Yeah, definitely. Now, when it comes to the coloring, concealers and foundations both come in colors that have undertones. And a lot of people forget that the concealers might be a cool undertone or a neutral undertone. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you can find that, especially with the faces, you can get multi-tonality on it. And again, that goes back to why adding the little touches of a concealer and a contour can really bring dimension and life back. Mm -hmm. So, powders, this is an issue. I know a lot of people struggle, especially if you have deeper skin, with finding the right setting powders, right? Oh, really, yes. If you put a lot of it, it's gonna take time for the oil to come through those layers to turn all the layers of powder translucent. So you need to use a little bit, it'll go translucent. And then when you get more oils or you wanna touch up, then you use a little bit. But if you use a lot or overuse it, you'll get a white cast. And this one from Makeup Forever has about five or six shades. So I'm gonna be using the shade number five. And I'm, what I'm gonna do is really keep it under the eyes first because concealer can move around quite a lot. So as you can see, I'm sticking to the center of the face. I, I did under the eyes, the nose, the chin. I'll do the forehead. And this is light enough in a tint that if you baked with it, it would still give you that highlight that you're looking for. So now we're gonna talk about contour. Contour and bronzer kind of go together. Basically you're adding darker tones, whether it's to create sculpt and shape to the face or just add a little bit of warmth 
right? It adds that dimension. I'm gonna use the Patrick Ta, and this is a two product in one. So you get a cream and a powder, which is really nice. Yeah, I love that. The cream is so subtle, and even though this is a dark tone, it blends in so nicely, doesn't it? And it immediately adds that dimension. It's like, mm -hmm. ooh, girl, she got the <laughs> cheeks out. I love it. So here's the fun part. We are going to pick up the powder, start over here, and right on top of where we put that, I'm just gonna come in and apply the powder. And it creates such an absolutely gorgeous contour, sculpt. How beautiful that is. Is that not beauty us? Absolutely love it. And I like this powder because it's sheer. It smells good too. It smells good, it smells really good. And it's got that nice texture where it doesn't add anything. It doesn't look like powdery. Mm -hmm. It blends smooth yeah. and effortlessly onto the skin. So it truly looks like a shadow. Look at the light bouncing on Yes! The okay, so now we're gonna be doing some blush, some highlighter. Okay. I'm gonna be using this one from one size. What I love about it is it's three in one. You get a cream, a blush, and a highlighter. I'm gonna start with the cream. A good way to think about a general rule of thumb with blush, if you want a lift from your blush, is two fingers next to your nose is as close to your nose as your blush should get. Oh. I mean, look how gorgeous that looks already. Such a beautiful tone on oh, you. Yeah. Mm hmm yeah. And again over here. So now we're gonna tap into the powder and we're gonna layer this over. And this is a bit of a, it's kind of like a tangerine tone. Ooh, that's really pretty. Isn't that yeah. nice? Combo. So what's nice about this is you might look at something like this and be like, oh, that's too light. Mm -hmm. It really does soften up the cream beautifully and create this gorgeous, almost apricot tone. Yeah. I, I really love these blushes so much. Oh my gosh, everything you're using, I'm about to go get. I know, girl. Gonna, I'm just gonna give you all of these so you can have them. <laughs> okay, the final thing here is we have this really cool color here, which looks really light, but it's actually a golden-y highlighter. So I'm gonna use a really small brush because I wanna make sure this doesn't go over, mm -hmm. you know, go crazy. And I'm just gonna keep it really high up and just blend it in. It's gonna become sort of a melting between our blush and a highlighter. A little bit of this goes a really long way. That's why a small brush is good because if you overdo it, you could end up looking metallic. Mm. <laughs> Which is, listen, hey, it could be cool too. But for our purposes, we wanna keep this a little bit on the softer side. A little bit more everyday wearable. So if I am gonna be watching these tutorials when they come out, so <laughs> <laughs> I'm so serious. <laughs> Okay, Megan, so how do you like the look, first of all? I am in love, like it's... Ugh. I love it. <sighs> Just gotta take you with me. Oh, girl, I'm ready to go. In and, my purse. But remember, right, it's all about finding that great foundation that fits the skin and then only going one to two shades lighter on the concealer. That's a key lesson there, yeah, right? Yeah. And then matching everything to your skin correctly, whether it's a contour that's the correct tone, the blushes that match your skin tone as well, all of that comes together and it makes for a beautiful look. You're right. You're ready to go out. Let's go yeah. have some dinner or something. Right, Let's don't go. Me. No. <laughs> <laughs>